Good morning, lovely people. So, how's everyone doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to make... Yes, I have no makeup on. That's because it's the first thing in the morning. I woke up, had my coffee. Then I realized, uh, which is what I'm going to show you how to make today. Then I realized that I have extra rice left over from last night's cooking. Um, but not enough for me to want to keep um, and such a waste to throw. So today, this morning, I'm going to show you how to make a rice face mask. You need two ingredients. You need fresh milk, not powdered milk. No, that won't do. Fresh milk and rice. Okay, so let's go. You would put it in a... Let me adjust this so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And by the way, I've got this underneath here. Let's burn the sweat. <laughs> Okay, so you need a pesto and mortar, and I love this one. I have a special one here. Um, it's from my father-in-law who actually just, um, he just passed away two days ago. So, never mind. We're all good. We're all good. That's just life. So get a pesto and mortar. I am going to use this one because I dedicate this one to making my lotions and potions. But for today's video, um, yeah, I'm going to not use this one today because I want to show you. For today's video, we're just going to use a regular pasta and mortar. Um, you have the wood ones, you have this one, and anything that just crushes it, really. Um, I prefer not to use a blender or anything, so let's get making. Now, so you, what you're going to do is, this is cooked rice, right? Just scoop a doop your rice out, okay? Like two or three tablespoons. There you go. See? Just take your cooked rice, yeah? Not raw. It's got to be cooked. Doesn't matter what rice. Basmati rice, Japanese rice. Um, you can't do it with risotto because risotto, you would have already cooked it with something. So, yeah. So put your rice in here. And to which you're going to add milk. I'm going to add little by little, but it actually soaks up quite a lot of milk. So, then what you're going to do is just pound it. Okay, I think I put a little bit too much milk, but let's see. Because once you, yeah, a little bit on the too much side. So just take it out if you put too much milk, just... Because you can always put it back in again. No problem. Everything I do is all about no fuss. We don't like fuss here. Life is already complicated enough. Let's not complicate things. So, I've removed some milk because that was a little bit too much for my own liking. Hang on, let me just put the milk back in the fridge so it doesn't get spoiled. <clears throat> okay. So, and then, let me bring it here. Can you see? Okay. There you go. And then I'm just going to gently pound it. More like, I'm more like rolling the, you know, basically what you want to do is crush it. That's why I really love this one. It kind of has, um, you see the end? So when I go in and I just go round and round, it kind of crushes the thing. But pesto and mortar works too. It works. So let me put the camera down and get to the pounding. So what's going to happen here is um, the rice and milk will combine. Okay. And you want to pound it or grind it till it forms like a, till the rice is broken. And then that's it. You put it on your face, on your clean face. Just wash your face, put it on your face. Leave it on for about 45 minutes and I would suggest like when you put it on, you, I'm sweating this morning and I'm sweating already. Um, you put it on, lie down, you'll see why later because the, the rice will kind of like drop all over and then gets messy. So lie down, you have to let it dry on your face. And then the rice is like, it's starchy, right? So what it does is it really tightens your skin. It tightens, tightens, tightens your skin. And when you wash it off, you're going to have glowing skin. Also because rice, um, like, you know, SK, SK2, 
All right. Yeah. Skincare and the Japanese discovered uh, Pitera and then all this that. Okay, the Japanese discovered that the ladies in the the rice mill, their hands were really, 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 really like nice. Okay, and that's because they were handling rice, which has a. I don't know what the name is, but it's, it's really good for your skin. Okay, so we grind it, mash it up until it's like a paste, and we're going to put it on the face. Spend some time a bit on it. How's everyone keeping up with the um, movement control? I am starting to get a bit bored. Um, just wondering like is it going to extend because you know everything's pending all plans or plans that involve moving around is um, pending because we don't know right okay so we want it as as smashy as broken as possible okay you see it's starting to like make it like a porridge yeah you know like mash it up or press and roll like that. You can use the sides to roll. Doesn't matter as long as the rice gets broken. Because if you don't break the rice, then it's just going to be a grain on your face. That's not what you want. Ooh, excuse me, I need to get a towel. It is hot. And it's also hot because I'm wearing that, that thing inside, right? I told you it works. There we go. Because this thing, right? It, it really makes you sweat. It really works. I hope you guys have been doing yours. Okay. So, mash up. For the sake of the video, I'm going to stop now because it is kind of already done. So then, you're going to put this on your face. As you can see, can you see my paste and mortar? Like, I'm wiping it off, but there is also the the starchy residue that's sticking on it so imagine if you put this on your face what's going to happen it's going to make your skin glow that's what's going to happen and so after you put this in your face and you have leftover what do you do just get a small jar put it in put it in the fridge and it will last about so far mine lasts about three days it's still fresh in the fridge and then if you've made more Put it in little small containers, um, like you know the one that when you tap out and you get food and you get sauces, put it in that, put it in the freezer. When you want to use it, just take it out, defrost it. Okay, so now, let me move this away. This is for the next video of well, today. We're going to make baguette, so that, that's what's in there. Right, let's apply this, baby. Ooh, goodness. You can apply it with a brush, you can apply it with your hands. I actually use a combination of both because I feel that the brush, you see, uh, <laughs> this is going to get funny because I need to bend down for the mirror. This is going to get messy and that is why after applying it, you have to lie down. So the brush, like I say, helps, see, it falls. The brush helps the liquid get into pores mm -hmm. this is so weird using the camera as a mirror I know I look like an idiot you gotta look like maggots on your face but never mind how you look okay enough with the brush because I'm not used to using the camera the camera as my mirror so you go in take a handful of it so this is how mashy you want it yeah Depending on the type of rice that you use, you might need less or more. So what you're going to do is, don't rub because no point. It's just going to go all over your floor or just the mashier the better, yeah guys. This is not too well done, but it's okay. So you're going to leave a thick layer on your face, as thick as possible. Sometimes I go like this. So it doesn't and pat it in. Okay. Look like an idiot, right? 
but it works, you know. And then your skin, especially if um, if you're a bit not on the spring chicken side, if you're a bit matured, if you have matured skin like I do. No, actually, that's a lie. I have very good skin, aside from the dots. <laughs> oh, but that's because I do all this. I know. My husband sometimes looks at me like, <gasps> that my wife? <laughs> so I, I actually do this one at night, but because I woke up and I was going to clean the kitchen and I saw extra rice, I thought it's the perfect time to make this video for you. So yeah, I think you get the idea. Put it on. Whoop. Make it falls. Uh, not make sure it falls. I'm trying to make it not fall. So put it on as much as you can. And then once your face looks like you've got maggots all over it or someone puked on it, you go and lie down. Lie down. Give it minimum half an hour. Lie down under a fan. Like try not to sweat because your sweat is going to push the milk and everything out. So just let it dry. And then you will see that it's hardening up. And once it's hardened up, just go wash it with um, warm water. Just uh, just wash your face. And if your face is not glowing, you call me. I make it glow for you. Enjoy, peeps.